Of course, down in Tuscaloosa, the news isn't being taken lightly. And outside Bryant-Denny Stadium, dozens had gathered to honor Coach Saban and show thanks for all that he's done. That's where we find Way 31's Max Cohan, who joins us after talking with some of the fans. Max. You know, and there are a few coaches that have ever been associated with the program the way Alabama and Nick Saban have been. I mean, the guy had a statue built while he was an active head coach, and today that statue was turned into a shrine with candles and Little Debbie cakes, as fans are clearly heartbroken. But you don't need me to tell you that. They can tell you themselves. Alabama football yeah, no. will ever be the same. No, uh, uh, I don't think it will. I mean, I'm taking it pretty hard. I mean, my initial reaction is it felt like a loved one died. I mean, it just hit me like a truck. I couldn't believe it. I can't even believe I'm here right now. Man, I'm going to miss Nick Saban so much. He's done great stuff for this, this state and the city, and he helped bring this team back from the dark ages. This is my first week down here. I just transferred. Um, I'm going into sports broadcasting, so this is like my nightmare. Um, I, yeah, heartbroken on the way back on the busway back to my home or my apartment, uh, but just in, in complete shock. I was on the plane home from Baltimore. I got a text from my dad when I landed. He's like, "You're not gonna believe this. Saban's gone. I'm a freshman here. After one year, I got to experience his greatness and huge impact." This feels like the worst breakup. I've ever gone through. It was definitely heartbreaking because I envisioned him being here all throughout the time I was here and I think many other people did as well yeah. so we were just really really not disappointed in him but disappointed in the fact that we didn't get to see that through. Saban's the greatest coach in college football history. I'm not scared to say that. He's the GOAT. Undisputed. And you guys can feel the devastation. It looks a lot more like a memorial service than a retirement party. Reporting live in Tuscaloosa with coverage you can count on Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.